Welcome to your third fan-requested Friday matchup of the day. This is an interesting one, to say the very least. This is Nasser Alson Body, 1994 Knight of Champions, and Chris Bumstead, 2019 Mr. Olympia. Wow, what a mismatch, guys. Now, to compare a classical physique division athlete against maybe a 70s competitor. That's probably more fair, but not a not a 90s guy and a, a huge massive 90s guy at that but i guess this is a more lean version of nasser still a whole lot bigger than chris bumstead hard to tell from this angle of course bumstead tilted thusly conditioning wise i would say chris definitely going to be able to match one nasser elson body but as we know nasser one of the biggest of any of the open competitors and even judging by the calves guys muscle for muscle it's going to be a nasser game but let's go through the poses, as this is a fan request. And you guys keep your comments to yourself, telling me this is a stupid comparison. This is a fan Friday fan request comparison, guys. We have to do it. And now Nasser is the one being ripped off, I think, here a little bit, because he is tilted thusly. And Chris Bumstead, furthermore, looks fantastic. Look at that vacuum pose. Of course, a little slight in the lag department. You notice that? Bumstead, I believe, short-lagged in this, and Nasser, maybe a longer-lagged individual. Bumstead, he has about four inches of height here, it, just in the head alone. He has a what, what you would call a divot head or a pointy head. No disrespect meant to him. I'm sure he doesn't care anyway, what I say. I have a banana nose, but that's a different story altogether. Close in the front double, but I would definitely give it to Nasser if he was tilted. Straight on, we would see a superiority. Now the front lat spread, this is a fantastic pose for Chris Bumstead, and I made the video of the front lat spreads of all the throughout the history, and I did get a comment saying I should have used Chris Bumstead in that video, and I agree, he has a fantastic pose. Look at the lags, guys, from the calves to the quads, although the dryness of Chris's quads, fantastic conditioning, and look at those abs, that vacuum timeless piece so i apologize for chris calling him a divot head it's maybe nasser has a short round bulbous head who knows so let's go to the side poses and you'll notice i'm not giving a definite answer of who i think won the front lat spread it was ugh, i just like the way bumstead hits that pose now the side chest again it's all about how you pose here, and Bumstead really is displaying what he has fantastically. Much better than Nasser is, but muscle for muscle, from the hamstrings to the quads to those all-important calves. Arms also getting an advantage here for Nasser. Look at the delt difference. My soul. He just needs to tilt out more thusly to display that chest a little bit better. Like this here. You can see this, the chest development in the side tricep. Much better for our friend Nasser Elson body. And look at the lag size, of course. Bumstead, I made him a little bit shorter here, and I took everything into consideration while sizing the heights of these two because Chris is taller. He's probably over six feet, and Nasser was just riding on the border, maybe a little under six feet, so... But either way, there's bending at the knees, things of that nature. And here is a nice little bonus shot. This is just a more of a hoo ha position for Nasser and kind of a, I guess, a mantis position for Chris Bumstead. Look at the fantastic tricep on Nasser Elson. Body, thick, rippling, bubbly. Look at the size of that big lobster claw. Taking nothing away from Chris, he looks fantastic as well. Just, I think overall, guys, I think the side tricep would go to Nasser. Wasn't displayed very well in the, the actual shot, but I think he did have the groceries for sure. Let's turn around to look at the only one and only back shot. Unfortunately, there was no rear lat spread for Chris Bumstead. And to be honest, he looks pretty good. Looks pretty good indeed. A little, little flatter, I think, than Nasser if you look at the three-dimensional thickness of his lat insertions. But a nice wide Lat spread, nonetheless, for Chris Bumstead. Wow, fantastic, I have to say. Look at those hamstrings on Nasser. Wow, huge, rippling, unbelievable hamstrings. It's as good as the Dr. Phil Heath's. 
I think when you look at the arm development, Nasser is closing the door on this little competition for sure. I mean, he may have bigger traps as well. Hard to say. Chris Bumstead looks good in the the upper traps there. But like I said, look at the arms, the delts, biceps, triceps. I think Nasser is winning the back shots. I, I do believe he would obviously be winning the rear lat spread too. But you can't say for sure. Abenthai, this is Chris Bumstead's probably one of his best poses when being compared with an open class athlete. Again, guys, look at that calf. Just unreal, this big Nasser. He was a beast, and you don't just... You're not born with those calves. Chris Bumstead will never, or could he... Nobody could, at Chris Bumstead's size, develop calves like Nasser had. Nasser had the genetics to have them, huge calves. Plus, he worked diligently on them, for sure. As well as the conditioning, guys. Bumstead, very conditioned, dry... Looks like a trout here. When you leave a trout out in the sun, he gets dry, crispy. Nasser, not as crisp, but huge in that V-taper as well. I would go ahead and maybe give Chris an edge in the Aventhai. Hard to say. Debatable. Now the most muscular. Uh, when you look at the arms, the chest, even the traps, Nasser may get an edge. Of course, he does look a little bit funny here. I think he's the one with the divot head in this pose. So, I'll have Chris Bumstead after me for calling him a divot head, and I will be haunted by the ghost of Nasser El Sunbody. Call me a divot head. <laughs> Either way, guys, it was a, you know, a little bit of a struggle for Nasser in a couple of poses, but he won this one. Nasser El Sunbody is your clear winner of this third Friday fan requested comparison. Look forward to one more, guys. Get your request in. I will honor the very first one. Hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.